News today for employees at the Pacific Western Brewery. The province announced changes to its beer markup policy. The new plan allows the brewery to grow while keeping a favorable markup rate. Today we're putting in place a system that will actually make it fundamentally sound for this brewery to be successful right up to a commercial level over the next number of years. It means cans will be rolling through the production line again. There were concerns the brewery would stop work in its tracks until January, unless changes were made to the province's markup policy. We would not have been able to produce one more can. We are at that 160,000 hectoliter now, and we would not, everybody would have been laid off. There would be no production whatsoever. If you include everybody, it's, it's over 50. You know, we have a sales force, we have unions, and lots of families involved. So everyone's sort of been on, on tense terms in the last couple of weeks here wanting to know what's going to happen. Minister Coleman explained since 1988 a formula was in place which put small breweries up against a threshold. The threshold is that uh, when you reach a certain amount of success and volume, which is good for employment and good for your families, is there's actually a cliff. And the cliff is that you drop off having what we call a small brewery markup. Over the past few weeks, Minister Coleman has been making a new formula, which increases the markup rate incrementally. When you now hit the 160,000 threshold, there will be a gradual tax that will increase the price per hectoliter up on the price of beer to 300,000 hectoliters of beer. It requires pricing to raise as we grow and as we get a better market share. We're well aware of that. But I think the minister's point that uh, doing that at, a, at an understandable rate, at a feasible rate, not a, not a cliff. The province says seven BC-based breweries are in a position to benefit from the new formula, including Pacific Western Brewery. But Coleman acknowledges not everyone is happy. The larger breweries have come to sort of a grudging acceptance to what I'm about to do, but I would prefer that I would do something different, which I, which I think would still put the risk of jobs in Prince George and other communities at risk and I wasn't prepared to do that. I don't think it's fair. You know, I, I, you know, if you look at the numbers which are public for them, they're, they're 20, 20 times the size of us. Um, they spend more on their marketing dollars than they do on their you know, ground roots community efforts like we do. So I, I don't think it's fair that they, they should have a say in what we're doing. For the 48 employees whose jobs were on the line, the issue that was spinning out of control has now wrapped up. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.